host. Hungry. Hostess. Mostess. Yes. Hey, bud. Someone with a fancy clipboard and a whole lot of self-confidence wanted you in your first mark. You ready? Elmer, I have to confess something. Preach, child. Elmer, I don't think I could do this. Hey, shut up! You've got this, okay? Remember, they kept their sketches and we're golden! Uh, hey guys, just wanted to tell you that we're, uh, cutting all of your sketches for more time for my, uh, politics. And oh, penis! Oh, Guys, why do these theater people keep telling me to break my leg? The statistics on that are higher than they think. Alyssa, this is the wrong dressing room! Wait, I get my own dressing room? <sighs> um, where are the snacks? They said there would be pizza. I didn't eat all day waiting for this. I just wanted some grilled chicken toppings. I'm hungry. Hey, everyone. Encouragement. Get it? Because we just had enough money in the budget, which was like two seventy five for mints. You feel me, so? You're not pizza. But you're fresh! Hey, I, li I like that. You know what? You you want it. Okay. So me, no. you, okay, you take it all the way. I got I'm it. Yeah, yeah. Lots of things, bro. Yeah. Hey, some guy with a clipboard and diminishing amount of confidence cued me in here for you to do some bit. Wait! Clipboard guy! <laughs> oh, sorry, Jake. I didn't see you there. Break right away! Yeah, yeah, he's on his way. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jesse Castellanos and welcome to Singing Off, the first ever Welcome to Signing Off, the first ever late night show done on a college campus. Don't look that up. Um, trust me, <laughs> I'm your host. Each episode, we pick a theme out of this bowl here. So let's do that. Uh, this theme is first. Uh, they all just say first, but <laughs> this episode, our theme is first. Now before we get into that, how about some generic monologue banter? <laughs> so two people have required medical attention for walking into glass at Apple headquarters. In case you forgot Apple's continuous feud with Windows. <laughs> so Sylvester Stallone was part of a recent line of death hoaxes springing around Hollywood. Nevertheless, this story is the first original work that Stallone has done in years. <laughs> McDonald's is reportedly doing its best to make Happy Meals healthy for children. <laughs> in other impossible news, a man in Utah reportedly watched an entire curling match and my dad finally told me that he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence has announced that she will quit acting for a year to fix our democracy. Now, this might be the most ridiculous comment I've heard in a while. America's not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gibson guitars after 116 years are facing bankruptcy. In other news, your dad is disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. Recently, a small Australian town held a festival in honor of everyone's favorite haircut, the mullet. <laughs> On the agenda for Australia next year, Pearl Jam, Flannel and the Rachel. <laughs> so, studies show that the key to living past 90 is drinking two alcoholic beverages a day. In other news, your dad is happy again. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so, you'll never believe this one. A St. Louis radio host gave birth during a live broadcast. Potential names have been tossed around, including Crazy Eddie and the Murph and... William, the second. 
Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner drank chocolate milk this past Thursday to demonstrate his commitment to diversity. Remember kids, drinking milk makes you big and strong and drinking chocolate milk as a metaphor for diversity makes you an asshat. Mmm, <laughs> got racism? <laughs> All right, so we have a great show for you tonight. Stay tuned for more first from this first college late night show. Don't stir that up. Hello, as always, I am your host, Dr. Eugene Sorbet, or as the French would say, Sorbet. And welcome back to American Genius, where we show you the documentaries about the greatest innovations and scientific achievements that happen right here in the most amazing country on the planet, America. On today's episode, we will revisit the events that led to the invention of the mini appliance that changed the way you bake and the way you toast. There was a time long ago when people had to make the difficult choice to use an oven or a toaster. An ambitious scientist named Frederick P. Tustoven came along. Frederick was a struggling scientist whose previous failed inventions included the Rubik's Triangle and the dishwashing refrigerator, or the dishorator. Then one day, while making breakfast, he had his Eureka moment. My toaster. My oven. My toaster oven. Frederick immediately got to work on a prototype, but there was resistance from the scientific community. You can bake things on the bake setting. And toast things on the toast setting. You're playing God, Frederick! There's too much power here! This is the most dangerous project anyone has ever undertaken. Uh, didn't we invent the atomic bomb a few years ago? Well, I don't like it! Toasting and baking in the same appliance. There's no room for that kind of sorcery on this earth! I should keep baking and toasting separate, like God intended. I see. Thank you for your time. But Frederick persevered and took his prototype to the one organization that could handle such a revolutionary idea. Oh. It worked! After the test at Kmart went well, Frederick took his revolutionary product to the market. Frederick's invention didn't go unnoticed. Aside from getting him laid many times, it earned him the highest honor in science, a Nobel Prize. So there you have it, the invention that changed culinary history as we know it. But the question remains, was the toaster oven truly invented to help anyone who needed it? Or was it made for a man in his 30s who just got divorced, who's making pizza bagels alone on a Saturday night? Oh, my pizza bagels. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. How's it going? I'm Boy Fieri and I'll be trying foods for the first time. And I know, you're asking yourself, why is he doing that? Well, I'll tell you. It's because for the past 23 years, my mother shoved nothing but bran muffins and salad down my goddamn throat. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> so today I'll be trying a cup of Joseph, or as New Jerseyans say it, freaking coffee. Let's give it a try. As you can tell, it smells delicious. God, mother of God! <laughs> Why would someone make something this hot? Jeez, mother f
I don't know about you, but I'm dying to see this movie. Yeah, I'm surprised they still released it after those Ben Stiller allegations came out. Wasn't he originally the lead in this? Yeah, that whole stuff is gross, but apparently they reshot the whole thing in a day. I wonder how that turned out. I apologize. Uh, I didn't see you because you were out of my perpetual view. Uh, <laughs> I'm Cecilia. Wilson. Uh, but my real name is Sylvester. Uh, uh, like Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I'm acting right now. Uh, uh, like I did in Rocky 1, uh, uh, Rocky 2, uh, Rocky 3, uh, <laughs> The Expendables, Expendables 2, uh, Expendables 3. Uh, uh, I'm acting. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, home improvement, uh, resident development, uh, 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 Toy Story one, uh, Top Gun, uh, Toy Story two, uh, Toy Story three. Uh, 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 I'm acting. Uh, uh. I heard he improved all of his lines. Yeah, I can definitely tell. There's just something about you, Wilson, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Gee, why is this bread so hot? I mean, seriously, was this thing made in a volcano? <laughs> if it came out of the kitchen two minutes later, it wouldn't be so hot. I think I'm falling for you. Where's that waiter? I want a Cobb salad. <laughs> you know, I never really understood why they called a Cobb salad if there's no corn on the cob in it. Corn on the Cobb salad. Now that's something I would eat. <laughs> Thank you and good night. The intensity is off the charts. Isn't that a clip from comedians and Shh. Talk to me. What are you afraid of? Oh, grrr, like dead ass. I ain't afraid of nothing. <laughs> what? This is a mo this is a movie. I'm in a movie. Zoom in, real quick. I love you, Wilson. Love is a false construct created to manipulate the conscious fantasies of human behavior. We're all just animals in a jungle, fighting for our place on the spectrum of evolution. <laughs> you know, I'm not really tired. Maybe we could... All right, all right, all right. For the little time they had, I thought it was okay. Was Cardi B supposed to be a man? I just thought the whole thing was sloppy. They should just separate the artist from the art. Never mind. You're right. It was awesome. Oh, look, there's more. How do you expect this from Super Coffee? But bread? I mean, come on, seriously. There's so many breads. There's whole wheat, there's wheat, there's rye, there's cinnamon raisin, there's toast. When does it end? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, <clears throat> how you doing? Uh, sorry about that hiccup before. No one told me that coffee was the devil's drink. But anyway. Let's, uh, let's get on to the next food. So my bros back home told me to have this. It's called broccoli. Let's give it a try. Uh. Mmm, delicious. <clears throat>
right, so since we are actually filming this on a college campus, they said we have to have an educational component. So here's Christian, everybody. Uh. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Christian, your educational component. Since this week's theme is firsts, we wanted to focus on some major firsts from history. First mailbox was created in 1809 and caused an outrage in Britain when stuffy old men thought it would allow women to send messages to unprincipled men. I don't want to say they were wrong, but I have next to no principles and I can't get a match on Tinder. <laughs> oh, hey, Christian, just leave the jokes to me, all right? Just... They, they told me it was a comedy show, so I brought, I brought jokes along with my facts. Well, try just doing the facts, all right? Just... I, will, I will do the facts as written. All right. The first tea was brewed in China over a thousand years ago when some leaves fell into the Shang Emperor's cup, proving that whether it's leaf water or Tide Pods, humans will consume anything you put in front of them. That wasn't even funny. Tide Pods are funny, Jesse. The first manned hot air balloon flight took place in 1783 by two Frenchmen. Not surprisingly, they also became the first two people to piss themselves in midair. One month later, one of them would be the first man to die in an air disaster. Okay, man, can you just stop with the jokes? That wasn't a joke. A man died! First insurance policy was created by the Romans. Businessmen would arrive at your bedside and haggle with you over how much it would cost to cure your illness until you eventually died before a settlement could be reached. Clearly, we have improved this system here in America by cutting out the health insurance part and just waiting till you die. All right, listen, man, how many of these jokes just, do you have left? Just, like, one more. Just one more. So don't worry. All right, It'll all, right. all be okay. It'll all be fine. This week in 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth because America won the space race, as we all know. And here's where I want to clear up some confusion. He, of course, was the second person to ever fly into space. The first was Yuri Gagarin, a Russian astronaut. When the Russians got the first satellite in space, we said, we'll get the first animal in space. When they got the first animal in space, we said we would get the first man into space. And then they did that. But we were still determined, like the little brother who can't understand why his older brother keeps beating him at Super Smash Bros. We decided that if we can't be the first, we are nothing. So we gave up trying to understand that giant ball of fire that keeps us warm, or why aliens only like to steal farmers and cows. <laughs> Finally, in 1969, we did it. We landed a crew on the moon, and then we did it again just to prove a point. Look at us now, Russia! We can succeed! <laughs> By the second mission, the astronauts had dropped all that one small step for man crap, and just said, we. Now, before I go, I do want to share one more story. No, 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 potato. Christian, come on. That, that, I think that's it. <laughs> I just, I think they need to know about the first time. No, man, they I, I, we don't want to hear any more of your jokes. They're not funny. Jesse, <laughs> hurting my feelings. Sir. You better leave right now, or I will eat you. I will eat you. I've done it before. Don't make me do it again. This is not. The last of this, Jesse! I shall return! I've never eaten people. <laughs> Alright, well now I'll take you to check in with Borfieri. Alright. I had enough of this sh Literally everything is going wrong! I regret everything, mother! I'm sorry. I love you. But we have to keep going, so let's get this over with. This is a jelly and the butter of a peanut sandwich. Let's give it a try. Oh my god. This is amazing. Where's this been my whole life, Mom? Forget what I said. This is amazing. Mmm! Mmm! So good! <clears throat> Is it supposed to tickle like this? <clears throat> what's, what's going on? Oh my god! What's going on? Help me! Help! Help me!
I don't want any trouble. Just give me your wallet. Why are you smiling? I'm sorry. This is just my first time being mugged. <laughs> well, I've never been anyone's first. Huh, well, I guess this is fun on both ends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, give me your wallet. Uh, uh. Listen, do you think you could say a little, like, hey, I'll kill you and everybody you love, you know, that kind of stuff? <laughs> I'll kill you and everybody you love! Oh, wow. Wow, that was good. I really believe that. <laughs> Seriously, give me your wallet. Oh, yeah. Um, hold on. What are you doing? Well, this is my money for my rent. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I I'm just trying to mug you. I, I don't want you to go homeless. But give me everything else in your wallet. Why are you taking that out? Well, this is my Applebee's gift card I got for my birthday. When was your birthday? Two days ago. Happy birthday! Thanks, man. <laughs> now seriously, give me your wallet! So, uh... What's your name? It's Robert. No way! My name's Robert! <laughs> but, but everybody, everybody calls, calls me Bobby! Oh! <laughs> oh, what are the odds? <laughs> so, Bobby, <laughs> are we done here? Yeah, I guess. But, uh, do you think you want to uh, get dinner sometime? I'd love that. Me too. <laughs> oh! Huh. That was good. I really believed it. I f love Applebee's. First impressions are important, and like a lot of people, I tend to act irrationally and make mistakes when I'm in stress-inducing situations. Babe, when am I going to meet your parents? Lucky for me, I have found a healthy and convenient way to deal with my anxiety. With Seize Away, I can get out of a pickle without having to explain myself. Definitely should have gotten the turkey. Seize Away is the first device that will swiftly take you out of any situation. Just press the button and your local Seize Away employees will handle the rest. Seize Away is so easy. A child could use it. All you have to do is press the button and they'll grab you in a jiffy. No, oh, no, I, I was just doing it for the demonstration. I... Why not just take your losses? Call it a day with Seize Away. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on this very first episode of Signing Off. And it looks like we are now signing off. You see what I did there? Well, thank you for joining us. We had a lot of fun. And please tune in next time. Till then, we're signing off.